Hey what's up guys, Fernando here and welcome back to another video. And in today's video we have a story that I first noticed on Twitter, but I've been seeing it reposted onto Reddit as well, so I decided to make a video about it. Everyone's favourite taco, Inome Inanis, has been on a break recently from streaming, and since her break started, she hasn't been tweeting as much as she used to. And in her place, an impersonator has been tweeting pretending to be Ina. They retweet Ina fan art just like Ina did, they changed their display name to be almost identical to Ina's, and they set their profile picture to be the same as Ina's too. They even set their pinned tweet to be WA, which is one of Ina's catchphrases. They recently made a tweet that received a lot of likes and was even retweeted by some real whole live members. The tweet read, There are a lot of small VTubers or content creators in general that tend to view growth in the short term, and their motivation and efforts dwindle, as they believe it was all for nothing. Be patient with the results and keep on striving. What matters is the will to keep going. Whilst I agree with the sentiment of the message, it's a shame that it had to come from a fake account. The account in question is called Not Ime Inanis, which is obviously a play on Ina's full name, and it's gotten over 12,000 followers. But how did they become so popular if they're simply impersonating Ina? Well, they weren't, at least at first. The account became popular as at ThiesVT, a gimmick account which dealt with pictures and videos of VTuber Thighs. You can tell that it's the same account by looking at these screenshots of the tweet. I took the first one, with a link from before they changed their name, and the other is the current tweet by Not Ina. For further proof that this is the Thighs VT account, I looked at the account's tweets using the Wayback Machine, such as this one, which reads at angry underscore an underscore, and your curiosity has been answered, and you can search this phrase on Twitter and find the exact tweet on the new fake Ina account. I will leave links down below so you can check for yourself. The tweet I mentioned before, which gained a lot of traction, was actually retweeted by Whole Live English's Amelia Watson and Whole Live Indonesia's Crazy Ollie. I think it's possible that they were following the feature with Thighs account in the past, and were fooled by the bait and switch tactics that were used. Or perhaps they retweeted the tweet before the account changed its name. Ina isn't verified on Twitter, so it's easy to see how someone could make this mistake, and it means that whole live members will have to be more careful about who they retweet in the future. It also stresses the importance of Twitter verifying VTubers, since they are public figures who are going to be impersonated, and without the verification mark, it's much easier to trick people into believing you're the real account. Personally, I think it's really strange that this big account, with over 10,000 followers, would change everything to impersonate Ina. They were well known in the community and have seemingly thrown that away to achieve this fake Ina gimmick. It's kinda scary to see that an imposter account like this can trick so many people. So far they haven't used it to cause any trouble, but who knows what they could have done. They could have tweeted out really offensive things and caused a lot of issues for Ina while she's on her break. Let me know what you think about this situation in the comments below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Well that's all for this video, leave a like if you liked and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.